Hi there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos channel. We are continuing with Scratch tutorials. We are continuing with explaining what are elements in Scratch. And in this video we are going to explain what is Sprite in Scratch. Ok, so let's go to Scratch to see this in action. In uh, last video we have explained what the stage is, now let's see what the, the sprite is. If you have uh, seen our last video and continued from it, uh, then maybe you have stage selected. Um, the way that you will know that's true, it's by looking on your right column where it says stage. If it's blue, that then it means that stage is selected but uh, to deselect it and to select sprite is very easy just click on the sprite icon here or at the cat on the screen so now the cat sprite is selected and what the sprite is the sprite is every image, every picture, every illustration you have on the stage. In our case now that's the cat, that's the default sprite which you will get when you create uh, the blank project in Scratch. So every time you create a Scratch project you will start with this cat sprite and that is because that is a Scratch ma ma mascot mascot and uh, this cat re represents scratch as a uh, software so that that's why you will see it every time you start new project and uh, but don't uh, don't be don't get fooled uh, or confused uh, every kind of image you have on the screen is sprite and uh, we will see in later videos how to import new sprites, how to upload sprites from your desktop computer or how to pick them from scratch library. If you um, want to see that on your own just click on this button here but we will uh, explain that in details later. For now on uh, just be aware that every image you see on the stage on this blank stage here we have cat but every image you see will be called sprite that means every character you have will be sprite every weapon every ammunition every pickup every i don't know enemy and so on everything will be sprite and you can um, manipulate it in some way uh, we will see that later how to uh, how you can manipulate it but uh, by default uh, on your left there are three tabs code costumes and sounds code should be selected by default so that's where you pick code where that's where you pick scratch blocks for coding you click on and drag and drop them to your right so every sprite can be coded and that's how you add interaction to it and you can add as many code as you like just by clicking and dragging them. We will see later how to do it in some uh, uh, logical way. And here behind, uh, you can click on the stage and drag and drop sprite and you can see how below the x, x and the y coordinates changes. That's because every sprite on the screen on the stage has its own position with x and y we will explain that in later videos also you have size direction and so on we will explain all of that later for now on just um, just uh, you just have to underst understand that every possible image on the screen is the sprite and i will <coughs> i will link uh, this scratch wiki sprite page so you can learn more about it but more or less it's uh, just what I said every just think about um, in terms of images and illustrations when you 
think about the sprites when you uh, say sprite that's just some image which is used for our game or application and we can see here that uh, you don't have to use just the cat you can use this football ball you can use this alien kind of creature this uh, puppy here or bananas so all of these are sprites and we will see in later videos how and when to use them that's it for this video and uh, keep on scratching, keep on learning.